Welcome to CrowdStrike Falcon. You have installed the sensor and would like to kick the tires. In this short demo, we'll generate your first detection, then look at it in the Falcon user interface. On a system with the recently installed Falcon sensor, I'll open a command prompt. My first action is to verify that the sensor is installed and running. To do this, type sc space query space cs agent. We see in the output that the service is currently running. Next, we'd like to run a sample, but running a traditional sample file like ICAR won't work. When using machine learning, using benign file samples for testing purposes would weaken the machine learning model and reduce detection rates. To generate an alert and not weaken our machine learning models, CrowdStrike uses the choice command to generate an alert. In the command prompt, type choice space forward slash m space CrowdStrike underscore sample underscore detection. The prompt will ask you for a Y or N. I'll select Y, but typing N will achieve the same result. In the Falcon user interface, there is a new detection indicated in the dashboard. Clicking on the new detection, I get the activity page with all recent alerts. Inspecting this alert further, our process tree shows that a command prompt was opened and the choice.exe was the file that triggered the detection. On the right, additional details are available, including the command line argument used and file hash associated with choice.exe. We have now validated that the sensor is installed and communicating correctly with the Falcon user interface. The next step is to test your prevention policy to see if malware will get blocked without risking infection. To do this, we'll use CS underscore maltest. On the test system, I've got a copy of CS maltest that I'll try to execute from the command prompt. As I try to run the application, three things happen. First, an access denied message appears in the command prompt. Second, the application on the desktop disappears as the file gets quarantined. And third, a notification from the Falcon sensor indicating a process was blocked because malicious behavior was detected. In the Falcon UI, there's a new detection. As it is expanded, we see the details that maltest was run from the command prompt and was prevented from running. On the right, we see details of CS maltest. Both detections and preventions are working as expected. You are now ready to deploy the Falcon sensor to a larger set of hosts and take advantage of the added visibility and protection that Falcon provides.